Mayday, mayday, mayday. I've only been scared for the future several times in my life, all of them being this year. To me, it's unusual that the vegan diet plays such a large role in this. I always thought that me critiquing these vegans and their little plant-based BS nonsense was just a smaller niche, but I was right on the money. I thought I was having just a little bit of fun, but the vegan diet is the forefront of the new globalist agenda, and they haven't been as successful in converting the older generation, so it appears they are now targeting the youth. But why? Why? When you deprive someone of B vitamins, of omega fatty acids that are so crucial for brain function, they can't remember what they were going to say five seconds ago. They can't think straight. The person becomes very easy to manipulate and control in these specific nutrient deficient states. That combined with a lack of cholesterol means no sex drive, no hormones, because cholesterol is the precursor to those. Is it only a matter of time before the government forces everyone to go vegan so they have a bunch of slaves that are easy to control? There is a reason grains are a slave food. Slop is a slave food and that the rich are always seen at these elaborate feasts with tons of roasts and animal foods. Now, I don't expect vegans to listen to or comprehend this video because their brains have already fallen victim to the brainwashing that becomes easy with the lack of those B vitamins and omega fatty acids. And if they didn't have a high enough IQ to recognize the obvious and blatant lies in the first place, it's probably impossible to suck them out of mainstream dogma that's coming from authority. That appeal to authority, listening to those large mainstream platforms, is something that most people do. They won't listen to a guy on the street telling them the truth. All of the arguments for a vegan diet are lies, but they've spread like wildfire, so now they're accepted as truth. The most irritating part of this vegan nonsense might be the virtue signaling, the holier-than-thou attitude people get because they think they're better than everyone else by not eating meat. Really? You're starving yourself half to death and encouraging a diet that kills babies and maims children, yet you think you're doing everyone a service? At meat eaters that claim to hate vegans so much, why not just ignore us like you do climate change, deforestation, and animal suffering? <laughs> this young lady thinks she's so smart and good. Oh man, I would love to just... I can't say that on YouTube. I can't say that on YouTube. This aggravates me so much because I know the truth. All three of, oh, we can't do that, three. All three of those issues, climate change, deforestation, and animal suffering are created and manufactured by the same government bodies that are pushing the vegan propaganda on you. One of the principal symbols of these people in control is the staff of Hermes. Always control both sides of the argument so you give people the illusion of choice. But both sides are a snake and snakes aren't good. I hope you guys know that. Snakes aren't good. Speaking of symbolism, look at the logo for the United Nations, the government body that is pushing these lies. I've done so many videos debunking climate change, how the statistics are made up, and how they can control the weather themselves, how even vegan foods cause harm and suffering to trillions of insects and small rodents, but that will fall on deaf ears because the loudest voice in the room is what's heard and that loud voice is the controlled opposition that is the vegan diet. A controlled opposition is a protest movement that is actually being led by government agents. Nearly all governments in history have employed this technique to trick and subdue their adversaries. Notably, Vladimir Lenin who said, the best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves. As you boys know, that doesn't apply to just vegans, just keto, just paleo, the carnivores, ooh -wee, our government agents as well. And some of these vegans do actually acknowledge the slaves picking their vegetables, but they don't realize that all of their plant foods are picked by you know people that aren't in a great position. They think by avoiding one or two brands of food that they're making a difference. Oh, only Driscoll is picked by slaves. Yeah, right. Compared to the average American chowing down on burgers and hot dogs, these vegans are painted as the good guys, the positive revolution, and that person eating that burger, enjoying that burger, is barbaric. Of course meat is bad for your health, bad for the environment, and bad for the animals. I'm gonna take it away. What's absolutely insane, 
and shows their rotting mental state is they have genuinely convinced themselves that eating animals is the reason for this pandemic in the first place. Doesn't matter what the issue is, vegans will point the finger at meat. Meat is always to blame. I can see it happening. Everyone forced to go vegan for the safety of everyone. You can't eat meat because it's contaminated. It's dangerous. These vegan lunatics are idolizing the end of meat and will gladly force their will on other people. All right, all right, let me get this straight. So a vegan diet is better for the animals, better for your health and the environment. Is that why you had to fly in 200 different ingredients from all over the world to make your processed garbage that probably has more insect parts than your vegan girlfriend's hairy armpits? But we have reached the pinnacle of nonsense. This butcher never hurts animals. The herbivorous butcher in Minneapolis has an extensive line of meats all made from plants. <laughs> I mean, I mean, judging by the staff that works there, a bunch of manly women and womanly men, I would be led to believe that they're trying to make everyone one gender by destroying their health with estrogenic chemical slop formed into the shape of meat. What's even more ridiculous is that these vegans think they're the minority. Can you even find a celebrity that hasn't been vegan? Can you find one celebrity that hasn't been paid off to pretend they were a vegan at some point in time? Hey Simon, that's one hell of a PR stunt rescuing those dogs from a dog meat farm in South Korea. What about the thousands of dogs that get euthanized every year in the United States? Does that not matter? That leads us to the truth. Anyone that sticks with this vegan nonsense has convinced themselves all the lies are true for one reason. They are cute, cuddly animal lovers. These furry freaks simply want to dress up in a bunch of dog suits and make animal noises with each other, woof, woof, oink, oink. And because of that, are leading the pack in brainwashing the masses into further deteriorating their health. Listen, you fairy boys can do whatever you want in your free time, you know, fart all over yourselves like a bunch of pigs, but don't involve everyone else. L listen, 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 I know it's difficult. All the vegan boys are ugly because of their diets. All the vegan girls are ugly because of their diets. You need some pretty people. So I guess what happens is the vegans need like new initiates, new pretty initiates. They can enact their beast fantasies. All right, with how easy it is to brainwash people now through the modern media and various social platform influencers, I think meat being taken away is no longer an if. It's becoming a matter of when. They pay off fitness influencers like David Laid, Twitch streamers, people in all types of niches to go vegan and attempt to convince their viewers. The television has been pushing the idea that meat is bad for about 50 years now. Yeah, of course, saturated fat and cholesterol are gonna kill you. And now you have all of these low IQ monkeys thinking they're smart and on the cutting edge of nutrition by telling other people to go vegan. It's the snowball effect. All of those moronic vegans that are destroying their health think they should get other people to destroy their health too. If they can convince people to wear a mask for six months, yet no one went outside to check if there were even people in the hospitals, if they can manufacture a fake meat shortage by saying that slaughterhouse workers are getting sick, they can do anything. We need to expose this vegan BS for what it is harder than ever, another component of ushering in the new global government. What's a good saying for this? Like, they're pushing a little bit, spreading the propaganda, telling people meat is bad, da da da. But if they have to, they'll force people to. As we said, meat is contaminated. It's dangerous to eat meat. For the safety of everyone else, you can't eat meat seemingly becoming reality. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, hopefully this doesn't have you too down in the dumps. Maybe we can make fun of some vegans this weekend. Uh, if you guys want to support me, please like the video, leave a comment down below. If you want to support me further, you know how to do so down in the description. Thank you guys again for joining me today. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.